as we're getting close to E3 2021, some games are getting announced right before that. This is Luminary, a brand new open world RPG looking to fill in the void of split screen and online co-op in a massive world. But it also doesn't forget its single player elements of course. You can do whatever you like in it and we know this game is bound to be compared to the Horizon series. It is pretty similar actually but without the robots, it's on PC at release and it has co-op. Its story also is looking really interesting. Luminary takes the open world RPG and dials it for a balanced accessible experience with a procedural twist. Using a unique world level and character proficiency system, explore the vast land together, uncover hidden treasures, defeat large scale bosses, and rid the world's darkness with light. In this game you are a luminary, a warrior of light. As your world falls into chaos, the more dark magic is harnessed and exploded, warping the world and its inhabitants, you and your fellow luminaries, which are other players if you'd like to play with them, evolve to make use of the world's less prevalent resource, light magic. With that power, as you grow stronger throughout your adventures, you will gain the strength needed to rid your world of darkness and bring back the light. Aside for the overall graphical fidelity and ease of access to the open world ARPG genre for all, there are six main pillars of luminary that the gameplay and mechanics focus on. First, it is a dense world to explore with a robust, fun locomotion system that allows you to go anywhere, running, jumping, gliding, swimming, and climbing. Just moving around the world and exploring is truly fun, as said by them. Second, there is a real-time yet forgiving skill-based combat system, where you can dynamically switch between fighting styles with the press of a button. Melee, range, magic, blocking, dodging, and parries. Play what style best suits you with a simple switch of your weapon. Third, you can drop in and drop out 4-player online or 2-player local couch co-op. No hassle and no problems. You will never be dinged for playing multiplayer, with the exception of having to share all that loot you find. Luminary offers a beautiful and crafted landscape that is densely filled with enemies, towns, bosses, treasures, and etc. that are procedurally seed spawned around the world. Every time you start a new world, locations, rarities, and difficulties change. Explore infinitely by joining friends in their worlds if you'd like, or make new ones yourself with a new game plus. Not only are there many different types of weapons, armor, and item categories you can scale up in, but each of those categories have many different variations. You didn't find that specific flame sword you were looking for to complete your ore collection? Join a friend's game and try your luck there. They already found it? Maybe they will trade it to you for a FT gold price, I imagine. And not only will you scale up in all weapons, armors, and items as you use them, but your luminary level will also increase with experience, unlocking massive new abilities. The developers really want luminary to not only feel like a game, but a continually enjoyed experience. There will be all of the aspects you expect from a role-playing game such as character customizations, cosmetic, emotes, job tasks, and etc. Play your character the way you want, the developer said. In the simplest terms, there is one true goal in Luminary every time a map is played, find and destroy the Dreadnought. Simple right, however, both find and destroy may not be such an easy task at the beginning. The Dreadnought is a gigantic beast that spawns in random locations at the start of the game across a large map. Lurking somewhere in this vast landscape, exploration will become a real key in finding it. You can go at this task solo or cover ground faster with the help of others. Climb tall mountains and scour deep valleys, searching for where the Dreadnought calls home this time round. The Dreadnought is the strongest and most difficult enemy to destroy in this game, but fortunately there is a proper way to go about this fight, and there's many enemies before that. The world itself is filled with dark magic, and all of the creatures, bosses, and even the Dreadnought feeds off this darkness for ultimate strength. A Dreadnought at full strength is a powerhouse, and to attempt this fight at beginning stages, even with a strong group of four, would still likely be suicide. Finding the Dreadnought in early game is always helpful, and with the ability to mark it on the map after discovery, you will at least know where to avoid, until you can bring down the world's dark magic level. Your character in the game is your very own. Tied to your account, you can custom create and progress your character across any world or gaming platform. At the forefront of Luminary is role playing and they want the player to choose to look how they want and even play how they want. There are no defined classes, and you progress through your actions. Want to get better with fire magic? Then use it. How about your tolerance to poisons? Get poisons. You want to use a bow? Then use them. The more you use any measurable tool, item, weapon, and armor, the greater your proficiency at 
that thing becomes. However, maybe you aren't into combat but still want to hang out with your friends. There will be plenty of other role playing activities for you to progress and earn money with. From fishing, mining, animal catching and etc. Not every hour spent in Luminary should be just about killing the dreadnought. Sometimes you can just hang out in a beautiful world together. Alright guys, let me know what you think of Luminary and if you're interested in such a game. I absolutely love that there's a co-op element into an open world RPG like this. And I definitely plan on playing it soon. Now, there's gonna be plenty of coverage in the coming days from all of the gaming events. There is the Battlefield reveal which is happening on June 9, Summer Game Fest which starts on June 10, and E3 2021 which starts right after that. I will be covering absolutely everything interesting that comes out of it. So no worries about not finding the content. Also check out my latest videos from Matches Game Expo which showed a ton of new games. Make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned for some really great E3 2021 content coming up very soon. Talk to you all very soon. Thanks to Richard Westfall, Bruce Wayne 236, Thunderbeard, Kianzo Fagari, Rickno 23, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Space Beer Gaming, and Rush Singbati for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only by clicking the join button below. This will support me and the channel as a whole to continue making videos on the games that truly deserve it.